So yesterday, this beautiful thing arrived. Vesemir's Superior Swallow Mug. Uh, and look at this top as well. If I just take that off. Look at that. Pick your potion. Uh, from the new CD Project Red merch store. This isn't an advert. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. Uh, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But a lot of people have been asking me. They've been saying, As, what is the wooden top all about? I don't get it. Well, you take the wooden top off. Obviously, you've got to drink. But if you slip it to the bottom, it becomes a snug coaster for your mug to sit on, which is really, really cool. So if you want one of those, run along now to the CD Pro uh, Project Red merch store. And, uh, oh, wait, no, you can't because they're all sold out. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Bayface. By the way, if you didn't like that opening, if you're a bit uh, like, ooh, you little bastard, don't worry, I've got my just desserts. This isn't my first time recording this video. Uh, I thought I'd follow up that opening with being even uh, more sarcastic by saying I even tweeted a picture of this mug out to CD Projekt Red, and then when I woke up the next day, they'd actually replied to my tweet, which made me really happy. And I tensed my arms up like this, which sadly... Tense my shoulders, which tense my neck, which sent a nice shooting pain going right into my problem area. Ridiculously painful. I do have it on camera. Maybe, if you're lucky, I'll stick it after the credits at the end of this video. But you got to smash that like button. Uh, anyway, I have done... Some very serious videos, you know, we've discussed the gaming industry, how it's going to pot, how big companies have lost, completely lost sight of their audiences, uh, treating them like cattle, just like wallets, purses, forgetting the humanity aspect of them, not giving them products that they want, making products for shareholders to monetize, all this kind of stuff. We, we've dealt with some very serious issues. Uh, today I'm dealing with chicken. People who make chicken. <laughs> I never thought I'd do a video about Soldier Boy. I never thought I'd be doing a video about Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> but here we are. Hey, look, look. It's finger clicking good. Wah -nah, wah -nah, wah -nah, wah. So apparently, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, have their own gaming channel on TwitTwat. Who knew? I know I didn't. <laughs> I also knew I didn't care. But I, I believe there's a little bit of a culture in America where uh, fast food restaurants or just food, purveyors of food, um, put out some pretty 11 herbs and spicy ah! tweets. I think Wendy's, from what I've seen, are kind of like the queens of it, because it's Wendy's, I suppose. Uh, and they've done some very funny tweets. And the, I think the funny thing about Wendy's is they don't pander to like the far left they don't try and be politically correct they just put out something which they believe uh, the average joe who's their customer is going to find funny and it often works it often works so it looks like that's what kfc are attempting to do and they set their sights on apex legends uh so they sent out this tweet which has got nearly five thousand likes earlier on where it's some memeable dude <laughs> holding a stick <clears throat> poking Apex Legends with the uh, line, come on, do something. So it's obviously intimating that Apex Legends is either dormant or sleep or lazy or dead, <laughs> unable to move, but nothing's happening, obviously, with it. So you can understand where they're coming from. I mean, let's just be perfectly honest here. You can understand where they're coming from. Because uh, Apex Legends, since its release in February, its white hot release uh, has lost a lot of momentum. Now, I love the game. Uh, I haven't played it in about seven or eight weeks since I got ill, but I haven't played virtually any game since I got ill because it seriously affected my ability to concentrate and stuff like that. So gaming was off the table for a period of time. Um, but I did thoroughly enjoy it when I played it. Uh, it doesn't mean that it didn't have problems. It had big problems. Number one, uh, we had these serious lag issues. 
The performance issues of the servers uh, have been terrible. And number two, <laughs> it's got a massive, massive problem with cheaters on PC. And they just announced a few days ago that the number of banned accounts is now up to 770,000. That's how many people have been banned from Apex Legends so far. They reckon the majority of them are coming from China, and they're using VPNs to do so. So what are Apex Legends doing next? Releasing in China. <laughs> now, it does actually make a lot of sense. Uh, China, number one. It's a culture that's grown up on uh, microtransactions. So this type of game will just fit in absolutely perfectly for the audience. Uh, number two, there's about 68 billion of them. So it's a huge audience to uh, stick your product to. Um, but there's no, to that person that just went, oh, that's racist. No, it's not. It's just a joke. Get over it. Uh, and uh, number three, uh, you know, money. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. You've got to grow your game. So, is this going to have any effect on cheating? Bearing in mind that it's going to go to a local, uh, as opposed to them having to use a VPN and stuff like that. No. Why would a cheater turn off the VPN <laughs> when it's masking them and it's masking them cheating? Because a lot of the bands that they're doing are like IP bands and stuff like that. So, if they're going through VPNs and it's being very hard for them to trace and track, why would you go through locally? You wouldn't. You wouldn't at all. So it's probably going to have next to no impact on the cheating whatsoever. So they're going to have to get better ways of trying to discover who the cheaters are, how to protect against it, etc. And uh, finally, uh, the season pass. Uh, the season pass went down like a damp squib. Having purchased it myself, uh, I can say without any doubt whatsoever, yeah, the season pass is garbage. A mitigated garbage. I mean, when I buy the season pass for Fortnite... I'm, I'm really excited to get a lot of the stuff on there. Not everything, but I shouldn't, you know, <laughs> horses for courses and all that. But there's plenty on the season pass, which I'm just like, oh, yeah, I want that. Or, oh, yeah, I want that. Absolutely. So uh, Epic do it really well. But uh, this first season pass has gone down like a lead balloon. And I guess you could also add to it that there's been no updates, anything to the game at all. Uh, the only patches which seem to come about are patches that are fixing issues with the game. And they still exist, and there's still plenty of them. So it's a, it's a slow process. So you can understand, this is what I'm trying to say, you can understand the nature of the tweet. Now, obviously, <laughs> Apex Legends player uh, players uh, jumped to the defense, and we got loads of this. Loads of the Silence brand meme. Uh, coming out. I can't believe it's not funny. <laughs> but silence brand everywhere. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The meme was stirs are out. I like this one though, the cat. And this person just says, uh, I think this person just says, it's time to stop posting. <laughs> I've had Bell do this to me a couple of times, particularly when I'm on my um Particularly when I'm on my uh, iPad or something like that. So yeah, you know, they, they've been jumping to its its defense. But, you know, I think they do have a fair point. Bit harsh, maybe. But they do have a fair point. However, uh, one of the developers at Respawn who's working on Apex Legends actually decided to uh, reply to this. Uh, and they put, dearest brand. Uh, we've got tons of stuff coming, but it takes a little time. We can't hyper-fry or flash flambe or crunch inject or whatever it is you do to your tasty fried bird flesh. This gameplay... Hold on, wasn't... I might could be wrong here, Americans, but wasn't Kentucky Fried Chicken accused of injecting its chicken with water to make it look plumper? Or is that something else completely? I don't know. Uh, this gameplay is handcrafted using old world techniques. Eat some chacken. We'll see you soon. Thumbs up. So obviously they reference crunch. Uh, and crunch, of course, is when uh, devs and such work ridiculously long weeks for long periods of time to get the game out. Now, I'm not trying to sound harsh here. I'm not. I'm not, like, coming at them. But <laughs> we know from fact that the map for Apex Legends was actually released a year before it came out. 
So, sure, they had to get the game working. Sure, they had to create the characters and everything and all that kind of stuff. But there is only one map. So I don't think there would have been a considerable amount of crunch when it came to Apex Legends. I think that's fair. Or if there was, I'd be very interested in where, to be perfectly honest with you. And since the game's come out, it hasn't had any updates. It's been out February, so we've had March, April, we're into May now. So it's been out for three months. Over three months, or at least three months. Uh, and there's been no additional game modes. There's been no new maps or anything that's been added to the game other than uh, the really disappointing season pass. Uh, so I understand that they want to defend their uh, game. And I understand that, you know, they might take this a little bit harsh. But I think it's coming from a place of, you know, come on. It's a really good game and we want something more to do. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> to me, it just seems a little bit touchy. Just let it go. It's just a meme. They're just memeing. You know, you've got everyone else jumping to your fence. It just feels a little touchy. Maybe, maybe uh, it hit a nerve, you know? Maybe it was just a little bit close to the bone. Maybe they're feeling the pressure. Because they didn't expect the game to be so successful on launch. So maybe they're just kind of feeling that pressure now from the fan base to actually deliver now. Because when it came out, there was no pressure on their shoulders whatsoever. But since that white hot start, since that huge fan base uh, came to the game, now there is a considerable amount of pressure. So, I don't know, maybe this was one that you should have just, just left alone, but what do you think? I think this is just a weird-ass one, if you ask me. And, uh, I don't care. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the feed. <laughs> if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links there in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now. Three, two, one. Hi, everybody. It's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Hey, do you know what? When the mug arrived, I tweeted CD Projekt Red and said, look at this beautiful thing that arrived today. This morning when I woke up, they responded. Happiest day of my life. <sighs> oh, careful. Oh, you see, that's it. That's it. I started to do a stupid skit at the start of the video. And that's what happens when I tense up or I get a surge of adrenaline. Oh.